Josie here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in again. I thought I'd come here today with my summer holiday sewing plants video. My family and I will be traveling to Uganda for most of the school summer holiday. And I thought I would whip up some projects that won't take probably a long time. I'm not so sure. I think I'm being overly ambitious. For some reason, I thought I had four weeks to plan, add plant for to sew these outfits, but at the look of things, I have just three weeks. So you can call me ambitious, but I'm daring myself to see how much I can get sewn before the holiday time. But I've tried to go for patterns that I've used previously used, and I trust their feet that I've made all the adjustments I've needed to make. And also because I've used them before, I'm hoping they won't be as hard to sew up the next time around. And I've taken on a few projects that will entail some dressing, cutting out and making, but I'm not going to put myself under too much pressure. I'll try to do as I'm able to do. But the first pattern, I'll be traveling to Uganda and Uganda is warm all year round with a good average of 28 degrees Celsius, which is perfect weather for all the summer clothes probably I never get to wear much in the UK. And the first project, I plan to sew up, I plan to sew up three Ogden Kami's by True Bias, a pattern that's loved by everyone in the sewing community. And I've got three fabulous fabrics I picked up. And the first one is this viscose fabric. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it a pretty one? I picked it up from my B&M fabric in Leeds. If you've ever been to Leeds and you love sewing, I'm so sure I know about the B&M fabric shop. And I plan to make an Ogden come out of this. And the second fabric is also a viscose. It's a pink one. This. I think will also be a perfect Ogden Kami. I have got enough fabric. I might be able to make two Ogden Kami's. I might make one for my little sister so we can twin while on holiday. So I might make two Ogden Kami's out of this. But I'm not sure about that because I will need to dress out another pattern size. But if I'm able to, I will, I'll make two Ogden Kami's so we can twin. And this fabric has been on my... I talked about it in my, my very first video. However, I never got around to making the Ogden Kami, but now that I'm going to be cutting off the others, I'll do a batch cutting. So I'm planning to sew up three Ogden Kamis for the summer holidays because it's a warm country and I know Ogden Kamis are just a quick thing. You throw them on on jeans or anything else and out off you go. Then my next project is going to be, I want to make some summer pants. And I'll be using the pattern. I had this pattern last summer. This is the Simplicity 878. I hacked it in two pants, summer pants. I created I created a waistband with an elastic at the back. And I turned them into pants, which I and I love the fit. I made all the adjustments I needed and all the alteration. That's why I think it shouldn't take me a long time sewing up since I've made it before. And I'll be using this fabulous viscose fabric it's a black viscose fabric which I also picked up from my local B&M because sometimes when the weather is cold it's quite warm you want something more breathable even for pants you want something lightweight that you can put it all that you can put on and you're off and it can be paired with so many things from spark tops cami tops and whatever can match it up with so looking forward to making this and I'm hoping it won't take a long while, a long time to make since I've made it before and I've got the pattern pieces already adjusted. And my other project, I was planning to make this pattern. This is the Jalier. I don't know whether you would pronounce it as Jalier. I don't know if it's, if it's a French pattern, it's probably Jalier. But we shall leave it at that and this is a boys and men's pattern it's called the Nico pattern it's a raglan pattern that comes with short sleeves three-quarter sleeves and long sleeves and the beauty with these patterns they come in many sizes a total of 27 sizes for boys and men so it's a pattern that I can whip that you can whip up for your little boys and the men in your life so it's one to buy. When I saw it, I knew I wanted to buy it. And 
My plans were to make Mr. My husband a Father's Day t-shirt to match with his son, but I never got around to making it. And I'm hoping to use these two beautiful fabrics. They are cotton spandex that I picked up from Girl Charlie close to a year ago. Or less than a year. And I thought I would make them matching t-shirts. But if still that doesn't work, <laughs> I plan to make my son some raglan t-shirts using this beautiful fabric which I again picked up from my B&M fabric and I'm hoping to make him raglan sleeves in this a raglan sleeve t-shirt in this probably switch them up have the middle part in this and the sleeves in this or the other way around let me see how I go with that but if I can't whip them up very fast I might have to go to the shops and buy him more t-shirts for the summer holiday and my next project Previously, I made my first project from the Bada Style magazines, and we all know you either love them or you don't love them. And I made my first top in May, and I loved how it came together, and I'm daring myself to probably make two projects from this magazine. This was the June issue of Bada Style 2019, and I'm uh, looking to make... This pattern for my daughter is a beautiful summer dress. This one, I don't know if it's clear. It's a beautiful summer dress that features big pockets. And I looked at the pattern lines draw the line drawings, and doesn't seem to be a complicated pattern to sew up because you don't have to cut up separate pocket pieces, it all comes as one piece that you fold over to create the pocket placement. And it's, I think it comes in four pieces. That's the two sleeve pieces and the two body pieces. So I'm hoping to make her this in this beautiful unicorn fabric. Isn't it pretty? I know I was in the store trying to buy more, more clothes for my kids for the summer holidays. And I realized everything in the girls section had a unicorn somewhere else in every cloth that you could come across. So when I saw this fabric, I knew... She would love it. My daughter is into unicorns. She loves them. So I'm hoping this would be the best fabric for this beautiful dress. I don't plan to make a lot for her as I've gotten carried away in the stores and bought all the summery dresses and jumpsuits I could come across for her. And then my last project, I'm also planning to make out of the same magazine and the same issue, is this dress. It's a beautiful dress. I'm not sure how easy it will come together because I give it a three dots showing that it's not the easiest. I don't think it's something I could whip up in a short while. But by far, it seems like the hardest project I have to, it's the hardest project I might have to sew. But honestly, I'm not going to put myself under pressure to make it up. And they recommend that you sew it up in a linen. And I bought up this beautiful linen from Steel B&M Fabrics. And these tend, these tend to be the colors I always draw to when I want to buy, make something, the reds, the rusty colors, the summer leaf colors, I mean the autumn leaf colors, I'm inclined to the rusties, rusty colors, the red and the maroon. So I saw this fabric and I knew it would be the best one. What do the rest have to think? What do the rest think about this? I'm excited to whip it up. I'll see how it will go. I know I might be overly ambitious choosing to make so many projects in a space of three weeks and it's clear in the three weeks I'll have to put aside some time to plan and pack for the holiday but yay I decided to be more ambitious than have no plans at all so those are my sewing plans and I'm hoping I'll be able to record a video before my holiday of what I've been able to sew I'll try to do my best to sew up quite as many as I can but if I can't I'll be glad that I'll have made something. At least I know I'll have to sew the Ogden Kamis. If that's all I come up with, I will still be excited to come and show them to you. Okay, thank you for watching. This is it with today's video. I hope to come again with the completed, with the finished projects and to show them to all of you. And I realize in my videos, I always forget to share with you what I'm wearing. And today I'm wearing my newest make. 
don't know if it's clear and this is the new look new look for 6446 pattern jumpsuit pattern and i completed it yesterday night and i couldn't miss an opportunity to wear it today i love it and thanks for watching i hope to come back here before my holidays to show you what i was able to make for the before the holidays thanks for watching and please like the videos comment and subscribe what do you think am i being ambitious or is doable thank you bye bye